Hello Intertubes. Um, what I have for you today is my lovely shiny new Xtar VC4 battery charger. Uh, this is actually a very nice piece of kit um, for a very good price. Um, you can look them up on, on eBay. Um, it's made in China as most things are and it does seem to be of a pretty high quality. However, this one does have a bit of a problem um, caused by me. Um, if we can get this up here, I can show you, get this to focus. Um, there, you can see the middle two um, have been damaged. What happened was um, an 18650 uh, decided to vent inside and um, <coughs> get this back in focus, come on, focus, focus, focus. Uh, 18650 decided to vent inside it and sprayed everything with electrolyte. And now, uh, when we, I did sort of squirt it with um, some, um, some alcohol and the vein hoped that it would just rinse everything off the board. But now um, what you'll see is nothing in channel two, but it appears to be trying to charge it. And um, what that is, is um, probably electrolytes on the circuit board across two of the tracks, causing that to happen. So we're gonna whip it open and have a look because um, well, the warranty is gonna be void on this anyway. And I'd quite like to see what's inside here and uh, also fix it, of course. Mm -hmm. I very often get asked what tools I use and uh, where I get them. Um, I find with a lot of things, um, like Oh, where did one go? I'll find that later. Um, a lot of fiddly little things like this. Um, I use dental dental picks. These are actually um, medical grade dental picks, and you can get them pretty cheap on on eBay. Uh, I think this entire set, which was quite quite a lot of picks, there's only about 12 quid, something like that, and they're really, really good quality stainless steel. They don't bend, they don't break, they're um, only slightly magnetic, and they come in handy for all sorts of things. Uh, I would point you towards the eBay seller that I, I bought them from, but it um, was quite a few years ago now. So prices may have changed. Yeah. Also got a nice shiny new anti-static mat on the bench as well. Not pretty. See if we can get you apart. Okay. Oh, that was fairly easy. And my least favourite thing to find inside a piece of kit: springs. Ew. Okay, so we've got to get to um, the only place it's gonna got to have gone is is here. Um, So, can we get you off with ease? What do you contain? You contain the positive terminals and the sliders. Yeah, I'm going to have to take those springs off. Well, that seemed fairly painless. Say that now. I haven't actually put the back together yet. Um, the 
take the springs off maybe. Yeah, I think so. happened here. Oh, that's horrible. That's really nasty. Um, I'm going to put something down to protect my... I'm just going to go and wash my hands and then um, put something down my bench to protect the surface. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, oh, back again. Put a cloth down this time and uh, have my gloves on. I've no idea if um, the electrolytes from a lithium ion battery will, will do me any harm but um, I don't feel like taking the risk. I mean that they, uh, they contain, uh, according to my vast knowledge of the subject, uh, or as you may know it, Wikipedia. Yeah, the electrolytes consist of lithium salts, uh, LIPF LIBF4, LICIO4, and organic solvents such as ethylene carbonate, dimethyl carbonate, and diethyl carbonate, which, as anyone knows, um, may or may not be harmful. Right, uh, let's see if we can find out where the problem lies here. So, uh, this would suggest the behavior of this. It's still working fine um, on, on, on these two cells. These middle ones, not so fine. And that would indicate to me that there is electrolysis occurring between the positive and negative terminals. And I can see why, because the separation there, if you can see it there, isn't terribly good. Um, there doesn't appear to be much, if anything, in the way of corrosion. Um, I'll get the, get the microscope on this. It's annoying that this, this isn't on a plug. That would be really handy, especially as it's designed for charging um, lithium-ion batteries, and they do vent, especially if you're a skinflint like me and you're uh, recycling batteries from old laptop uh, battery packs. <coughs> no, this thing is is likely to happen. Um, so I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but the overall overall design and construction of it is um, really is quite nice. It's a separate supply for each cell. Um, there's diodes. Yeah, we've got separate, um, oh, hang on, there's a bit of, yeah, on, on cell one, or channel one as they call it here, there's a bit of um, corrosion occurring on the, on the current centre resistor, was, yeah, I think that's a current centre resistor. <coughs> So yes, it's a, so separate current sensing on each channel, which is nice. Take a quick look at the display side of things. It's just a PSV, a dedicated display chip, and switching for the various modes for the display. But what I think I'm going to have to do with this, as it is starting to corrode down here on the surface mount components, is uh, wipe, wipe as much of this off as I can and get it into the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, yep, that's that's what we're going to do. That's going to be the best way to to do this. I don't want to put the LCD in the ultrasonic cleaner, so I'm going to have to desolder this. 
this wire. Oh, what a pain. Okay. Why do I ever try plan A? Why does anyone ever try plan A? Plan A never works. It's always plan B. Always start with plan B. There. It's easier to take off. It's not going to be easy to put back on though, is it? Worst of it off here. If anyone knows if um, this uh, the electrolyte in uh, lithium ion batteries is harmful, or how harmful and why, um, could you let me know in the uh, <clears throat> in the comments? Or let everyone know in the comments. And if it's completely harmless, you can all point and laugh at me for being paranoid and wearing gloves. Okay, so here we can see a lot of nastiness in here. Why the electrolyte has leaked onto the board, um, particularly here, in between this capacitor and the resistor. That's not nice. Uh, between these two resistors, but most importantly, and you'll see the electrolysis has happened here on oh, this shunt resistor here, 150 milliamp. Um, right, yeah, get the pointer in the right place. A pointer, it's going to look like a shovel under the microscope. Um, just here, you can see where the electrolyte has burned away on this current sensing resistor. So this is where, and there's, there's going to be more electrolyte underneath here as well, where it's, where it's all crept in. So uh, <coughs> the ultrasonic cleaner should take care of that, and we'll have, a, have another look at that when it comes out and see what sort of a job it's done. Back in a bit. So it's been the ultrasonic cleaner, it's been through the rinse bath, it's been through the alcohol bath, and it's been in the drying oven. And look at that. All remnants of the uh, electrolyte have gone. It's taken away the corrosion from the electrolysis. It hasn't damaged the solder mask, which is nice. Um, so I look around here, all the stuff between the components is gone, no corrosion there. Um, what's this here? No. It's okay. Yep, that's, that's all looking good. Oh, that's the, that's the drying oven switching off. In case you were wondering, it's a, a very cheap 20 pound toaster oven, just set to a very low temperature. Anything you've got to watch out for that, um, if you're drying stuff in a toaster oven, is get it preheated. Even if you're only using it at you know, 100 degrees, 120 degrees, get it preheated, especially if there are um, soft plastic components, as in thermoplastic components on the board. Because while it's heating up, the elements are running absolutely flat out, and that's a lot of infrared radiation that you're going to expose this stuff to. And it will melt plastic, thermoplastic compounds anyway. So get 
get it nice and warm first before you uh, stick your board in there. That's all, that's looking very good. Okay. Uh, stomach up to there. And we'll get this back together. There we are. Fixed. If you have any questions, please uh, pop them down there in the comments. And once again, thank you very much for watching. And please feel free to comment, subscribe, like, or dislike. Mm -hmm.